a human animal. You are a very special breed. For you are the only animal who can think, who can reason, who can read. Now all your pets are smart, that's true. But none of them can add up two and two because the only thinking animal is you, you. an animal. So is a hippo, a tiger, and even an aardvark. But you're a special kind of animal. Now there are some things other animals do better than you. Some see better, some hear better, and some are stronger. <clears throat> but you're different because you can think and reason you can also speak. Now take a human baby and a donkey baby. Keep saying bird to the human baby. Bird? Bird? And soon it will learn to say bird. Bird? But you could say bird forever to the donkey and all he could answer back is ha. Man has developed his vocal cords and can sing as well as speak. I'm a happy-go-lucky fellow. That's enough. A bird may sing better than a man, but lacks the intelligence to read music or form words. Polly wants a cracker. Oh, yeah. I forgot about him. But all he can do is imitate sounds. You know how I know all of these things? I get them out of books. You can find anything you want to know from books. If you learn one thing a day for a year, that's 365 new things. Just think how many things you would know in five years. Let's see now. 365 days, that includes Sundays, times five and five times one, carry to, well, Anyway, you'll sure be smart. Let's see, now, where was I? <clears throat> oh, yes. About the human animal, let's see how he looked way back in the time of the caveman. Here's jungle animals, farm animals. Oh, yeah. This ought to show you. Here he is. Scientists call him Homo sapiens, meaning wise man. Let's find out why. Well, instead of growling as other animals do, he learned through intelligence to form words and express his ideas. So as he spoke, he developed his chin. Ooh, oh, ah. Ooh, 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 ga. Ooh, ga. Da, da. Ooh, ga, da, da. Friends, Romans, countrymen. To be or not to be. From the rock-bound coast of Maine to the sun-kissed shores of California. By the way, no other animal has a chin. Chin? <clears throat> oh, well, I'm just a cricket. But back to early man. Oh, God, da da For a while, animals dominated him. But soon, man's natural intelligence came to his rescue. He learned to train and make use of animals for his own benefit. Now, most animals have a keener sense of smell than man. But here, man's intelligence has overcome this by training animals to smell for him. So that makes animals smell better than humans. Or humans don't smell so good. Or, hey, what am I saying? Well, well, anyway, in comparison, man has become an eye animal and the dog a nose animal. Like when a hound dog hits a hot trail, his nose goes to work and tells him that the tracks belong to... Why? It's Mr. Rabbit. Man must see directly to recognize Mr. Rabbit. Rabbit, rabbit, rabbit! <laughs> Some 
animals have keener sight than man. Whoops. Like members of the hawk family. But again, man trains the birds to see for him, as in the sport of falconry. Well, of all the nerve. Now another thing. Man has learned he can live almost anywhere. A fish must live in water, but man can adapt himself. One more thing. Animals are born with a certain way of behaving. It is called instinct. Man has instinct too, but he uses reason with it. Now take that noble animal, the horse. You've heard the expression, plain horse sense. Well, a horse doesn't reason with his horse sense. Because if the barn catches on fire, you will have an awful time getting him out. And if not tied, he will run back in. Man would get out of that barn fast, like this. And now we come to a very important difference between you and other animals. You have a flexible thumb. You can touch the tips of all your other fingers. An ape can't do this. He's able to grasp an object, but there's not much he can do with it. But man with his workable hand, using intelligence and imagination, can make tools and use them skillfully. To build homes, factories, trains, planes, ships, bridges, dams, skyscrapers, spaceships, and yo-yos. Time for me to go, but next time I'm going to tell you some more about you. And so the human animal is you.